There are minigame collections, and then there are honest compilation games. The difference tends to be scope and depth, along with the length of the average game. Culture Brain published one such compilation back in 03, and again in 05, titled The Puzzle and Tante Collection, bringing together a detective investigation that I don't feel like bothering with because I'm not Benedict Cumberbatch, a hamster-related puzzle game, what we'll dig into tomorrow, and Mina no Puzzle Kuru Kuru Pon. Obviously trying to ride the coattails of Nintendo's ridiculously successful Panel de Pun series. But that was a game about fairies and magic and whatnot, and Kuru Kuru Pun concerns itself with spinning around... mice. Lots and lots of mice. And one lucky, lucky cat. So it kind of looks like a Bejeweled or a Zookeeper or some similar grid full of objects puzzle game. Your cursor is a 2x2 two two area that can be plopped down with a B button, whereupon you can cycle the contents of the frame counterclockwise or clockwise with the D-pad. The mice don't disappear when lined up though, nor arranged into blocks or other figures. Nope, these mice have to be hunted down. Here's just the cat to do it. If the cat's facing a mouse of a matching color, you can press A to wake up said cat, thus risking your life in the process, but follow me for a minute, and have it... Um, detonate the mouse in front of it, as well as every adjacent mouse of the same color. Not sure how that happens, but we'll deal with it. Anyway, with the mice detonated, the cat will walk forward one cell and change color. Said colors always cycle the same way. Red, green, purple, blue, gray, yellow. Should this change leave the cat in the position to immediately attack another mouse or collection of mice, it will do so as a chain, eventually making its way to the opposite side of the screen, at which point it'll turn around. The cat can't look up, and he can't turn around any other way, so you're going to spin yourself dizzy trying to accommodate his whims. In other words, a typical cat. In standard head-to-head -head mode, you and an opponent are tasked with eliminating a hundred mice inside a time limit, with the first to complete the task to declare the winner. Or being reasonable, the one with the most mice eliminated inside said time limit, as I've never seen it done. There isn't much interaction, though, is the only way to be pushed back from your goal is to wake up the cat when there isn't an appropriate mouse immediately before him. A time attack mode takes away the threat of a second player, and focuses on score and completion, and that's it. Those we've learned through countless puzzle games, score and success don't always go hand in hand. Finally, there's a puzzle mode, a regular requirement when dealing with games like these that give you a limited number of moves and cat wakings up to completely clear the board of mice. It's all well and good, and certainly nothing that other games of its ilk haven't done before, but there is one new wrinkle, a puzzle editor. Yes, you can put your own gravity-based cat and mouse strategies to the test to configure a layout of your own choice, and then since this is a physical cart, you've kind of got to hand it off to someone physically in order to share the experience. It's a weird sort of twist on a style of puzzle I've played many times before, in that your entire focus is on the area around this darn cat. While it's certainly not bad by any stretch, and we thank Felicity and Worcestershire for sending it to us, even if its primary purpose is as a hamster conveyance module, just playing the thing makes me want to fire a Pokemon Puzzle League. 